Our next poet is Riley Woodford. Hi, my name is Riley Woodford, and I will be performing my poem, Sven. It's about structural violence, kind of, and stereotypes. So, here it goes. I looked at the board with the names on it. The board with the names of the children who would spend their day at the daycare I worked at. I read through every last Rachel, and Olivia, and Chris, and Alex. The common names just blurred together. The last name on the list was Sven. I looked at my co-workers. Sven. For the next hour, we giggled and joked about him being a little Russian kid, clutching a sippy cup full of vodka. We guffawed about how cool it would be if he had a sickle and hammer embroidered into his blanket. Boy, were we wrong about this kid. He didn't Russian dance in. He simply tiptoed in behind his parents, thumb in his mouth. Surprisingly, he held apple juice in a green sippy cup instead of vodka. His powder blue fleece blanket had a puppy on it. And then we saw the backpack. The glittery and pink Hello Kitty backpack. <clears throat> Awfully feminine, don't you think? I took him over to the cubbies and labeled his things. A couple trucks, spare underwear, with pink winged ponies on them. Hmm. I giggled and he went to go play with the wooden saliva covered trains. For the next hour, I'd monitor his actions until his normal-looking parents stumbled in, with two girls, pink from the winter cold. He dropped the toy car he was holding and sprinted to them, clinging to one of the girl's legs. Why does he have my backpack? She inquired. I looked at my coworkers again, eyes wide. Oh, so it's not actually his? Now that I think about it, who am I to assume this kid was feminine? His backpack was a hand-me-down, and so was the underwear. Who am I to assume his family is communist, based on a name? His parents decided that. It's not something he can change until he's legally old enough, right? But I lie to myself. I say I was only joking. It's totally okay. I meant nothing by it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I continue to lie to myself. It's all fine. If it was a joke, it's all fine. I mean, I'm Irish. People assume I'm already an alcoholic. I'm from a middle-class family. People assume I live off a diet of canned soup. And then I start feeling worse. I start thinking. People have called me intimidating. And why? because I'm not shy, and that's how girls are supposed to be, apparently. People have called me manly, and why? Because I totally rage at Call of Duty. People have called me a bitch, and why? Because I refuse to get pushed around. Everyone is judged on things they can't change. There's always something to fix. Everything you do is just another defect. 